Well, at uh, Simmons and Simmons, we are very fortunate to have an integrated international financial services practice that focuses um, on the asset management sector and which operates from all major financial centers in, in Europe and, and Asia. When it now comes to um, regulatory change projects, we are really partnering with our clients to monitor the developments and, and support them with the implementation. The um, retail investment strategy is, is really a perfect example here. What I personally found fascinating about the RIS that it has a different impact in, in each single member state of, of the EU. For instance, where there's well, some concern about an inducement ban in, in Germany, um, this really seems to be less of an issue, for instance, in the, in the Netherlands. Um, it also affects the business model of our clients uh, in different ways, depending, for instance, how they are putting their funds uh, to the market. Therefore, it, it will be really exciting to discuss the RIS and its impact at, uh, at the Pharma conference. Um, what's value for money? How will benchmarking uh, look like? Um, what is the best interest test for investment advice? Will there really be an inducement man for XO? So lots of stuff to discuss. We're very privileged here at Simmons & Simmons to work across the spectrum of asset managers from both those smaller startup managers right through to the household names. In terms of the challenges they're facing, one challenge we do talk to them quite a lot, or they talk to us quite a lot about, are the, the rate of regulatory change that they need to, to manage. I think all of our clients at heart want to produce products and services that deliver value for their clients. And they want to do so in a regulatory compliant fashion. But they have been, and I think looking forward, they continue to be concerned about the pace of regulatory change. We're sitting at the kind of point of real divergence. And I think a lot of our clients operating across international borders are now looking at that level of divergence that are going to come as the UK looks to deliver on its Brexit, its Brexit um, mandates across to the EU looking to deliver on its capital markets union and how that's going to pan out and how our clients are going to manage that I think is really something that we're seeing and having a lot of conversations with clients. So what I'm really looking forward is is first and foremost the the very interesting agenda that a farmer has put together. Then uh, meeting lots of my uh, contacts and clients and making new contacts uh, in Brussels. There will be interesting discussions and um, also in relation to the uh, ever-changing landscape on, on ESG. So I'm um, really forward to meeting you all. We always enjoy being here at the AFAMA conference. Personally, I always look forward to the CEO panels. It's always really interesting for us to hear and see what's really keeping our clients awake at night. Um, and of course, Always fun at the coffee breaks and lunch breaks to catch up with everyone. So really looking forward to a great, great conference.